My name is Judith Sherman, and I'm the chief of the HIV and AIDS section at UNICEF, so I'm responsible for HIV and AIDS programming. I understand that um, there's something that you're trying to do you, uh, about adolescent girls. What, what are you trying to do in that area? Yes. Are you trying to stop them from alcoholism? What we're focusing on for our adolescent girls, and the reason why I'm so happy to be here talking with you today, is on ensuring that girls have every opportunity to succeed at life. To succeed at life, they have to be successful in school. And yet we know that girls in Malawi today miss four days every month from school because of getting their period. Is it not a problem of transportation to the school? No, the issue is multifold. One is they simply can't access appropriate product to manage their menstruation, for example, sanitary pads. And two is at schools themselves, there are inadequate facilities for girls to, to attend in order to manage their periods. So is UNICEF setting up shops to distribute or sell sanitary pads? What We're are working, you doing about that? We're working with a number of different groups. For example, um, we're working with mothers' groups. There was a case of a young girl in um, Standard 5 who got her period while she was at school, and the other children, especially the boys, were laughing at her. So in an embarrassment, she ran home and refused to return. But thanks to one of the mothers' groups that we're supporting, the mothers reached out to her family um, and they supported the girl to return to school. They taught her how to make her own sanitary pads, how to wash them, etc. And they set up a facility at the school where girls can comfortably go to, to make pads, to sew them, to wash them, and um, to store them. And today, now that same girl is a very successful student in Standard 6. Good story, but I'm not convinced why you should be doing this. I believe adolescents are grown-ups and they've got their parents. It's their responsibility of their parents to look after these adolescents. We work with parenting groups on just that. We particularly work with fathers, and so we have fathers who are acting as role models. There was one father who, when his daughter told her that she had her period, and it was the middle of the night, he went, actually went to the nearby military hospital, banging on the door, trying to find cotton wool for her. You know, those kinds of role models, those kind of champions for girls um, are um, people that we're working with in order to help other fathers learn how important it is to support their daughters in menstruation management. How many adolescent girls are you targeting? I mean, we 17, work, mal, uh, 17 million Malawians? I mean, it's, it's very true that menstruation affects half the population of the world and certainly half the population of Malawi. But the adolescents that we're working with are those in and out of school um, between the ages of 10 and upwards to, because as you know, menstruation doesn't just occur once, it occurs every month for girls for many years. So as long as they're adolescents in Malawi, we're working to help them with their menstruation. Is there any deliberate effort to uh, transfer skills and capacity to the parents, the mother groups, the father groups, the farming groups, and the government Yes. To, to do this on their own, because I, I don't expect you to continue doing this for the long term. Yes, and, and as and you mentioned... direction and progress uh, are, you, are you making in terms of skills transfer to ensure that Malawians, and not UNICEF, can mm -hmm. do this on their own? Absolutely, and they're already doing it on their own. So, for example, the mothers' groups that I mentioned, you know, they're setting up um, small entrepreneurial um, efforts, even managed by girls themselves, in order to promote recyclable sanitary pads. And that's an effort that is ongoing um, and continues with or without UNICEF or other donor support. Um, and those mothers groups are continuing to, to form and, and to work throughout the country. We're also working with government to look at the economics behind menstruation. I mean, certainly girls missing school means that they'll be less successful and school performance, um, and ultimately le less successful in life. So there's an economic cost to the country when girls drop out of schools. We're working with the government to remove taxes from sanitary pads to make them more affordable to those girls who can afford at least something in terms of purchasing pads.